who knew that Joe Biden in the 60s participated in protests against segregation? Well, I got my education, Reverend Doc, in the black church. Not a joke. Because when we used to get organized on Sundays to go out and desegregate movie theaters and things like that, we'd do it through the black church. <laughs> Say what? We used to get organized on Sundays to go out and desegregate movie theaters and things like that. We used to get organized on Sundays and desegregate movie theaters and things like that, end of quote. Really? <laughs> You're sure. When I marched in the civil rights movement, I did not march with a 12 point program. I marched with tens of thousands of others. Now in 1983, at the New Jersey Democratic Convention, Joe Biden said this. When I was 17, I participated in sit-ins to desegregate restaurants and movie houses. My stomach turned upon hearing the voices of Favis and Wallace, Biden continued, referring to the segregationist governors of Arkansas and Alabama, respectively. My soul raged on seeing Bull Connor and his dogs, end of quote. You can never whip these boys if you don't keep you and them separate. I found that out in Birmingham. You've got to keep the white and the black separate. February 1987 at the California Democratic Convention. When I was 17 years old, like many of you, I participated in sit-ins to desegregate the restaurants and movie houses of Wilmington, Delaware. <laughs> don't tell that to the New York Times. And the New York Times reports, quote, more than once, advisors had gently reminded Mr. Biden of the problem with this formulation. He had not actually marched during the civil rights movement. And more than once, Mr. Biden assured them that he understood and kept telling the story anyway. <laughs> and don't tell the center of left publication, The Atlantic, here's what they wrote. By September 1987, his campaign press secretary clarified to The New York Times that Biden did participate in action to desegregate one restaurant and one movie theater. Or as Biden once explained at a 1987 news conference, he had been concerned about civil rights as a teenager, but he was not out marching, end of quote. Okay, so Joe scaled it down to protesting one theater and one restaurant. And so I got involved in deseg, I was no big shakes reverend in the civil rights, I was just a kid. I got involved in desegregated movie theaters and helping, you may remember Reverend Moyer in Delaware and Herman Holloway organized voter registration drives, coming out of black churches on Sunday, figuring how we were gonna move. But is there even evidence of this more scaled down claim? Not according to the Washington Examiner. Here's what they said. The problem is there is no evidence that Biden had any involvement in the civil rights movement in the 1960s beyond being a spectator as he went to college, became a lawyer, ran for office, being elected to Newcastle County Council in Delaware, the beginning of 46 uninterrupted years in public office, end of quote. <laughs> but, 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 what about the protests against a movie theater and a restaurant in Wilmington, Delaware? Back to the Washington Examiner. The Baltimore Sun interviewed Biden in 1986 and reported, as a young man, he took part in sit-ins to desegregate restaurants along US 40 in Delaware. A morning news article in September 1975 said that Biden joined in sit-ins to desegregate restaurants along US 40 before he joined the Senate, end of quote. <laughs> but plot twist. Civil rights activists in Wilmington and the University of Delaware, while Biden was a student, said they don't recall him participating in any demonstrations. A historian who wrote a book about the Route 40 project, referring to the action to desegregate restaurants along that route, and the Freedom Riders movement said he was unaware of Biden's involvement. One of the group's leaders at the University of Delaware, where Biden was a student, Dwayne Nichols, a graduate student at the time told the Washington Examiner that he compiled the list of segregated restaurants that CORE targeted along Route 40. He does not recall Biden participating in protest activities, end of quote. I remember when I was in Burma during the war, 
I was captured by the enemy and gave only my name, rank, and serial number in spite of being subjected to the most fiendish torture ever devised by man. The water torture. A drop of water on the forehead every minute for 300 gallons. 300 gallons, Mr. Brown, would you believe it? That's pretty hard to believe. Would you believe a quart? <laughs> came by once a day with a glass of water and an eyedropper. <laughs> so, is Joe losing it? And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. And the way Biden teed off on the Iowa voter who dared ask him about Hunter Biden, Joe Biden was not amused. We all know Trump uh, has been messing around in the Ukraine over there, holding their foreign aid for, for them to come up saying that we're an investigation. We know all about that. And he's, he's uh, no back on him, we know that for that. But you, on the other hand, set your son over there. He did a job and worked for a gas company, but he had no experience with gas or nothing. In order to get access to the public, to, for the president. So you're, you're selling access to the president just like he does. So you got a damn liar, man. That's not true. And no one has ever said that. No one has heard that. I no. see it on the TV. You see it on the TV. No, I know you do. And by the way, that's why I, I'm not sedentary. I don't. I get up and and, and no, let, 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 let him go. Let him go. Look, the reason I'm running is because I've been around a long time and I know more than most people know. And I can get things done. That's why I'm running. And you want to check my shape on Let's do push-ups together here, man. Let's do, let's run. Let's do whatever you want to do. Let's take a nice pizza. I want to switch gears and ask you sure about you what happened the other day at your town hall because yep. you got a lot of you got a lot of attention for it. Um, a, a man stood up and started throwing false allegations your way about your son Hunter Biden and his work in Ukraine and your work as vice president then in Ukraine, and you responded by uh, calling him a damn liar. He and then you lied. challenged him to push-ups, and then you asked him for him an IQ he, test? No, he came along, and he, what he said, he, he said he's entitled to do this. He said, you're too old. He said, you're too old. I can't vote for somebody as old as you. I said, okay. And he was challenging what kind of shape. So I kidded. I said, want to do a push-up contest? I was joking. Look, I'm in pretty good shape. Which is shape. what Donald Trump says a lot. Hey, you can't take a joke. I was joking. No, the point, no, 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 no. But the don't point don't compare up, me to Donald Trump. But people don't did. Do at that. the town hall, it was no, just they that. Didn't. They, yes, they did. Well, they I, said to me, the woman you met at the end, 94 year old Mary, said to me, I was so disappointed in him. This is a direct quote. That is not the Joe I know. He sounded like Donald Trump in that clip. Well, look, Donald, what Donald Trump says, he makes fun of people, he belittles people, he lies. I don't do any of those things, period. Hey, do you ever notice where Biden keeps saying he's in the wrong state? Like if he's in Ohio, it's great to be in Iowa tonight. <laughs> if he's in Pennsylvania, it's wonderful to be in the state of Delaware. What is wrong with this guy? And we're going to need subtitles to figure out what the devil Joe Biden was talking about in this speech to the Teamsters. See if you can follow this. And the third thing is, last year alone, $1.2 billion in overtime was denied by our, for hourly workers who were not unionized. $1.2 billion. So you go ahead and you stack spaghetti sauce at a store in, 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 in a supermarket. You control the guy or the woman who runs the, run, brings out the carts on, 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 on a forklift. What happens? They make you management. You can't get paid overtime. And you see it happening with labor as well. So the bottom line is I'm for you because America needs you to grow. Gunga, galunga. Gunga, gunga, galunga. Now, who can argue with that? <laughs> I'm Larry Elder, and this has been The Larry Elder Show for Epic Times. I'll see you next time.